It accelerates so hard. Jeez. That sound is, 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 is just so much air being moved, yeah. rushing air. Yeah, it's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> a vacuum cleaner, yeah. Ooh. yeah. That is great. I love that. It, it, it accelerates way faster than my F-34. Like, it's not even fair. It's, it's, you can't even compare the two. Yeah, it's versus mo modern car versus old car, you yeah. know? Hey! Good morning. Morning! How are you? I'm very good. Okay. We're back in Japan. We're staying, like, right there. I think that's our house. Thank you so much for picking us up. No worries. So, you want to talk about an amazing shuttle. Yep. This that's doesn't hold much, but... Yep. This thing is just so cool. I've never actually seen a GRMN. Yeah. And and in red. One of the 500 were made in total uh -huh. in GRMN spec. I don't know about in red, but only the Mac Gray only came with 50 of them in, in the whole world. Oh, got it. So this is one of like 450 of them. And red is pretty, actually quite rare, to be honest. I only see, other than my car, none. In existence, I'm so jealous but, right but now. But in social media, I see like few. Not only do we, not only do we not get this car nope. at all. Yep. In the U.S., only in Mexico. Only in Mexico. I've seen them in Mexico. Never a GRMN. What? So what's different? What makes it different? So, this is called a GRMN uh, YRS circuit package. So, some of the parts are a GRMN circuit package exclusive. For instance, that wing over there, uh -huh. that's you can buy in Japan right now, but that one costs you, guess it, $8,000. You're kidding. Yeah, this hood is a GRMN special. Um, it's a dry carbon hood that is basically same. Um, they built in-house by Toyota, and it's all like full like dry carbon. It's not like, you know, typical like a resin on, you know, the wet carbon stuff that you see in an aftermarket. This is like literally like a dry carbon technology from LFA. Uh. And then that's like on the hood and the roof too. The roof, uh. I, if you see my previous GR Yaris, it came with the carbon roof, but it has a wrap on it so that it won't, you know, deteriorate over time with the UV and stuff. This is pure dry carbon. It's um, the clear is we can withstand the UV. Uh. So it's a very high standard, high quality dry carbon roof. And this wing over there, which is the design, came straight from the Super Taiku cars that you see on the track in Japan. Um, the Super Taiku cars are actually more wider, but due to the you know shock and stuff that you kind of have to hassle it in Japan, it has to be like smaller angle. So, because the regular GR Yaris is already a homologation special, yeah. this is like a homologation special, 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 special. Yes. And this is what's crazy is this is adjustable from the factory. Yep. You can increase or decrease the downforce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And then, not to mention the shape of it. Like, how, where can I see this kind of shape from like aftermarket cars? It just doesn't make any like, sense. I'm just so glad Toyota's making cars like this. Yeah. So, what else so, is changed on here? This is the exclusive, um, the BBS very lightweight forged alloy wheels wrapped in Yokohama AO52s from the factory. It came with what? like a, yes, AO52s from the factory. I, I was assuming, I saw the AO52s on this car. I was assuming that you uh, went to a track day and you replaced them. No, it came with like this. This how, is how, how do you drive on the street with these? It's actually... It's gonna be so loud. Yeah, the road noise is not good, but... But, but, but it, it has the most grip. This is the grippiest tire you can get. Yeah, and and in that street streetable, you know, you could go for like a you know like Hoosiers and stuff. That's no, no, like no, no. that's that's illegal. that's like a that's like barely legal tire. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. like fully legal. It has graves in it, which and obviously this is really good for the wet too. Yes. So it's quite. It feels really. really I've good actually done a bunch of wet track days on those, mm -hmm. and um, they get up to heat really quick too. Yeah. But I can't believe it comes from the factory with those. Yep. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Wait, have you taken this to the track yet? Ah, uh, not 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 really heavy like heavy track day yet kind of wish we could do but it's like you know it's it's a good car uh, for the track i wish i would take it soon so yeah the wheels are different I, I see some other special stuff like 
Oh uh, yeah, is the Marizo signature. Marizo's signatures on the windshield. Yep. What what else? Anything else different? Um, what about the arrow? Or this anything? arrow is a GR optional arrow that you can find on some of your GR, you know, Yaris's. You can option at this front lip with this right, canard right. thing over here. So you can kind of do a copy, but not everything. Hey, you can kind of do like a carbon copy because this hood and this wing is now available through the GR Garage um, dealer network in Japan. But this hood costs more than a Zeton hood, even though it's a smaller shape. No way. It is, it is actually not kidding. I'm not joking. This is as almost the same price with the current height of the Zeton hood. No. Yes, it's actually Wait, so 8, 000, eight thousand, close to 8,000 yen, 800,000 yen. That is ridiculous. Yeah, and then that one costs you more, close to 900,000 yen. It more doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's a fully dry carbon technology from LFA. This is actually two piece. So this is not just the top wing right here. This bottom oh, part. Oh, because it needs to be stable enough yeah. to be able to handle the downforce. Yeah, because oh. whenever like some of the aftermarket parts that you see on like these shaped wings, these brackets and this, this you know, the the stand could not hold the downforce right, that it'll this, break. It, it kind of starts to jet a little mm. bit. I'm so jealous yeah. that these can And then you would not believe it's the weave of the look at it. Oh. Look at the weave. Whoa, so you could see the two different types. Yeah. Like it's a little bigger weave here and it is um, just just the normal weave that we yeah. we're used to. And Whoa. then these right here, this is like the this is for the ducts that you see on the top. This is yeah. actually like a weather, like a plastic cover thing, so they won't go on a no uh, drip water in here whenever you park. Yeah, park yeah. in here. Uh, so, and, so the uh, engine itself is the same. Changed. Yeah, but the uh, the way they build it is a little bit different from the original GR Yaris's. So. Usually, they, whenever they hand built, they, these engines are actually hand built. They select the variants from like the three different variant pistons, and they get like almost the same weight balances. So they kind of revs freely. This one, however, is selected from five different pistons, and it with the most lightest and most well balanced pistons of all. So this engine is actually well more. Crafted. Can I help? Can I, can yeah, I sure, see sure. how much it weighs? Bro. It is it is fairly light. It's so light. And then not to mention it's very, very sturdy. So this car has additional 545 point of spot wells with 12 meters more structural adhesive, which means if you look at here, look at how many how many spot welds that they've done for this car. This like Normal GR cars, they only have like one here, one I, here. I love that you, you just pull off, pull up the weather stripping yeah, just, just to show that off. Yeah. That is so cool. Okay, this, so that's, but that's exclusive to the- To this car. MN. Yeah, uh, to MN body. And obviously- you, Yeah, you could see underneath. This is, yeah. this is part of the wing too. Yeah, part of the wing, yeah. Uh, and obviously, if you look underneath right here, the rear seats is gone. Oh, with, this doesn't have rear seats. It's yeah. a delete. With oh. the bars now on. This is kind of like what we get in the US, the Marizo. Yep. Um, Corolla. Corolla. Yeah. This is actually what I've heard from the people that they've driven both of the cars. They said this car is more sturdy. It feels more rigid and then very, very, how do, how do I say? I guess more aggressive car than a Marizo. Marizo is still a relatively more streeter friendly whereas this is like full on track car yeah huh. well let's check out the interior yep. so then it comes with these recaro seats it comes with that little shield so you don't wear wear out the oh yeah well this i installed it oh, by myself because i don't want to okay but but know. it comes with okay i'm gonna get in because we have to go oh yeah. It comes with these floor mats too, huh? Yep. And then specific. <laughs> and this, it, it's amazing to me because this looks modified. 
There's no way. This this looks this doesn't look stock at all. Yeah, this car has It even has an airbag? <laughs> yeah, for That's the how that's how they get away with that? Yeah, that's how they get away with it. They put it like a it, it looks so crude. It, it looks like tacked on, right? Yeah, they just they just added it on after the fact. They're like, hey, we have to put an airbag. Uh oh. Yeah. And then we just it just looks like this. Oh. I got it. it. I got it. Full on Alcantara oh seats. My God. This is just so cool. Yep. Wait a minute. So it doesn't have a screen. Well, yeah, the screen's gone first, but instead they have this like nav cubby so that you could put like aftermarket nav. On How it. does that? Oh, yeah, it's a two din nav, so you could two din nav box. So I oh. could put two din nav, or for some of the prototype cars you saw, I've saw they put like a triple gauges right here, so yeah, that you can. This could, is cool, yeah, though, because I mean they're just trying to save as much weight as possible. Yeah, and it's facing forward to the driver, so it's pretty cool. And the Alcantara steering wheel, Alcantara shift knob, Alcantara the side brake boot, and the gauges are said it says it GRMN. Mm. So it actually is a lot harder. It seems like Toyota as a manufacturer has made this so special and they've made it really hard to make a GRMN copy. Like it, 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 it's almost not worth it at that point. You can kind of replicate exterior. So you could just put like a, the hood in the rear wing, even though it's quite, you could buy a Yaris for those two parts yeah. alone. But like, it's more about not just the looks, it's more about what the car means to the GR brand itself, but also the fact that like st some of the stuff are, you cannot really carbon copy this aftermarket. Yeah. Like the spot additional like 545 yes, points of saying. spot welds yeah. and all these like, like suspension is really stiff out. You could see, you could tell later on. I just don't get why they don't build more of these because this has actually gone up in price. You actually had to win a lottery to buy this, yeah. right? It's just, I'm, I was too lucky. Cause oh. these aren't actually that expensive when so, they when they were new. Yeah, about like 75,000 USD. And then if you sell it now, it could be um, way over a hundred. Well, not way over a hundred, maybe. Still, it's like you. I only see like once or twice weekly at auctions. It's which means it's quite rare compared to other cars. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess it's kind of like a really rare car to find. You know, yeah. they only make 500 of them, and they're kind of still keep making it. So oh, so cool. All right, let's let's go pick up my car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I can't believe that's a three cylinder. Yeah. I can't believe that. It's yeah. just all about driver feel. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of, it, it really is a lot of rushing air sound. Does, is the exhaust special? Sock. It's sock. It's the same. It's, it's the same. same as the regular GR? Yeah, it's actually the same, but there will be a upgraded part from Toyota, they're gonna produce a German aftermarket exhaust for it. And they're still in the works. Yeah, I mean, if you have a VIN number, you can. You're allowed to buy it. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty uh, exclusive too. I mean, lucky you again. Yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> Toyota wants this car to not only to enjoy the car itself, but also kind of make your own, if that makes sense. So they're gonna have a two programs um, coming up soon. One is called a upgraded program, and one is called another one is called a personalization program. Upgraded program is kind of like you know adding more modifications, like physical modifications to the car, like ECU upgrade or the exhaust upgrade or whatever. Um, another one will be the personalization program, in which you can dial in the suspension, the seat position, the power steering um, calibration and the throttle mapping, all those stuff, so they can be tailored towards to your liking. So right now it's just completely blows up because of that. Mm -hmm. And I've experienced the up upgraded program GR and Yaris, and those cars are much more fa faster. Mm -hmm. Like, especially whenever I stepped on a throttle on like mid RPM, like around three to four, it gets up and goes more quickly Wait, than so my Wait, so you car. take it back to the dealership and they do all this stuff for you? Yeah, you can do that, yeah. Oh, so they, they tune the ECU for you? Yeah, physically. Uh... Welcome back. <laughs> We're here. We're here. 
And that's my car. Yep. I haven't seen it since the summer. So obviously I've sent you some pictures to kind of tease you for a bit. So yes. we obviously, we kind of cleaned it up the car for you. Yeah. It was a bit filthy, so we did. Um, I actually did the interior part. So. Oh, you guys clean up the interior. Yeah, you're, it was a bit, bit mess, bit some grimes here and there. So I kind of wiped yeah. it off for you. Well, we've been using it. I've yeah, put yeah. maybe about 5,000 kilometers on it so far. Yeah, in, cur in course of two times that you've been driven yeah. in, in streets. I've yeah. driven a lot. So this is the this is what I love about Top Rank. This is the cool part about having a car in Japan, your own car. Yeah. You can arrive and drive. So I arrived last night. Mm -hmm. This morning, mm -hmm. Masa picked me up uh, in his amazing GR MN Yaris. And now the car's here. Oil's changed washed inside and outside and all the parts that i requested and all the things that i requested to get done while i was gone got done and that's what's super important i did um curb rash i think it was this wheel yeah left rear yeah this wheel and then they were able to fix it i can't really tell where it is now which is really good and plus you know these wheels are white the advan gts um, they show a lot of dirt, so by the time I drive it, maybe three miles, it'll be dirt already yeah. <laughs> all over it. But I'm just, I just essentially wanted it to kind of have a reset, and this is pretty much my last time that I get to enjoy it in this state. It, it really shows how faded the paint is now <laughs> when I look at it and, and I look at cars like yours that's pretty much perfect yeah <laughs> I can't believe thank you how faded the paint is and I and I just cannot wait to get this restored at Garage Yoshida yeah this is uh what do you call a fade side blue yes face <laughs> I've never heard of it that way okay so then let's talk about some of the stuff that you guys did all right so uh change the spark plugs yep changed we not um, only changed the ignition the prp yep uh ignition coils so last year uh i was driving around around new year's time and the car basically stopped working because the coil packs went out and that, that's very common right the stock coil packs go out pretty easily yeah it's one of the fading points of the rbs so now you chose to go for prp which is really good quality according to Sato who installed this coil box for you so yeah it says it has an upgraded coil box and the cool thing is you don't see it because it's all under the cover yeah some of the aftermarket coil packs you cannot put this cover on because it's kind of stuck out right the PRP what's so good about it is it could still fit into your the head cover which is quite nice yeah it is just like how I left it it's a, a very, very dirty and driven car, mm -hmm. but that's the point, you know? That is the point. I wanted a runner. I didn't want a showpiece, but it is going to be a showpiece pretty soon, which um, is not gonna stop me from driving it, honestly. You know, I'm gonna keep driving it. I'm gonna keep enjoying it because that's what I love. But what I wanna do is I wanna do kind of like a life update with Top Rank, Top Rank update and see uh, what you guys have going on. So yeah, welcome to our new showroom floor. Wait um, a minute, what used to be here? If, so if you remember, this side used to be belong to a different company that does a lot of dismantling, car oh. dismantling, you know, you know, stuff. Now we own, officially own this entire property. We don't share the spots anymore. As you can see, we, we are now parked a lot of cars right now inside this showroom. Huh, oh, that's Jun's car. Yep, that, this is Jun's car. That's Mickey's car over there, that's Brian's car. Look at this. This is like R34 parking only over here. And NSX. And one NS. <laughs> and the RX. Oh. But yeah, mostly R34. So many R34s. Yep, in one this spot. This is crazy. Yeah, we, by the way guys, we don't hold her it. It's all been, Owners are all been accounted for. Yeah, so yeah it's these, all aren't, these aren't ones that you guys own. These are owned by 
other people. Yeah. Or, or the, the owners. The, the people that actually own these cars mm -hmm. are all foreigners, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, during Tokyo Auto Salon, they're going to drive all of these. Yep. Every one of these are going to be out. Yep. Including mine. Only one of the cars that are for sale right now is this one right here. What's that? It's a uh, base model, um, 2001. Oh, this one? This one. Okay. Base model 2001, but it has about, it has an aftermarket turbos. Yeah. Tw aftermarket twin turbos. It has uh, the V-Spec 2 seats? Yeah. Well, this is the Koki. Oh, the Koki color seats. seats. Yeah. The Dismal steering wheel, which is pretty, pretty. Oh, pretty, that is very, so cool. Very, very pretty. That is so cool. Yep. I love that. Yeah, it's very nice. And that Midnight Purple too is obviously going to stateside. Mm. Yep, every car is nice here. This is really incredible. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much this is going for? 20 mil car, 21 million car. 21 million, yep. that's 165? Uh, right now I think about 150, 150 150K. Okay. For a white one, honestly, that's a really, really good price. Yeah, it's very low mileage too. Yeah. It's verified about 65-ish thousand kilometers. It is so nice. Yep. It's Look way it. better condition than my car. <laughs> that's for sure. Fade side blue. <laughs> Fade side blue. That's yep. 207. I called it a cool. mustard. Yeah. Mustard uh, and ketchup. Huh. Yeah. So that's what's going on with you guys. You guys are building a showroom. That's yep. really cool. So then, but what for? Is it because you want people to come look yeah. and see what cars they can potentially buy here? Yes, that's what that's our goal is right now, is to have a showroom floor right here so that you guys can um, come and check out the cars freely. Uh, right there, that will be our turntable for photo shoot. Uh. So we're gonna have a very nice background with very nice lighting right now. We. We just yesterday we installed the turntable. Yeah. I'm gonna come back again in the summertime, uh, one last time, basically to drive my restored R34 around Tokyo, and um, I'll be able to come check this place out again to see the progress. But this is something that you guys haven't had yet. You guys haven't had like a showroom or like a almost like a traditional dealership where people can just walk up and buy a car. Yeah because it's all just been online. Yeah, we obviously, this is a kind of a closed environment. So we always uh, telling to people who are wanted to visit this place um, that this is meant for showing the car that you're really thinking about purchasing it or else it's Most, kind of- Like no tire kickers, very serious buyers Yeah, only. serious buyers only for- Not like a casual person that strolls in and oh, maybe I'll buy an R34. Yeah, with people who like, we always tell to the customer that this is, uh, we need to have a reservation in order to showcase this, uh, you, the cars that you're interested in because it's, uh, it's one of those areas where it's not like uh, visible to people. Yeah. Can we take a look at what else you guys have going on? Yep. So uh, actually, actually we nice. opened a European division. Oh, so okay. So this car will be going to Europe. This, oh. This is actually uh, Alex's personal uh, 997 Carrera 4S. That's pretty cool. What else do we got here? And then we this got, is uh, the infamous Dustin's Tokyo Drift Evo. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is one of the uh, called a a carnet car, so this is a fully federal, federally legal, legal in US, but it's not legalized in Japan. But for temporary usage for a year, you can actually bring your car from US or wherever part of the world that has a carnet treaty to Japan and drive around for a year and you can ship it back. So this is one of the examples that we did for Dustin. And this car will be having more, a lot of travels in the next couple, six months. This is another, I think it's a, well, I could say out loud, this is Juni Mai's. Oh, nice. Ken Mary. Oh, that's super cool. Ken Mary. Yeah, cool. we've done a few works for it. We're gonna help him ship it to US. It's gonna be in the US shorts very soon. It's gonna be a cool build for sure. What else do we got here? Oh, wow. This is the R30 um, GT Turbo. This nice. is a six cylinder L series turbo engine. It's a very old school car. It's sold to um, guy, uh, one of the person in, in Japan. 
So we're right now working on the car for it. So you you guys sell cars to Japanese of course. people too. Yes. Whoever wants to buy it. Whoever wants to buy the car, yes, we could sell it to for you. We can basically ship the car all over the world. And also another thing is mm -hmm. these cars, it, it's not just R34s, it, it's everything. Classic we, cars, yeah. uh, European cars, whatever. Yeah. Whatever yeah. car you guys, but you just happen to have a lot of Skylines. Exactly. Back in the storage facility, every single time it blows me away to come in here and see what you guys have. Look at this. I, I, I thought I would have thought that a lot of these cars would be shipped out by now. It started shipping out. So we already actually sent like four units to US. Those are used to be our storage cars. They will be in US shores shortly. But yeah, we still have a lot of cars. Some of the cars are not even exportable until 2027 because it's an O2 car. So, uh, yeah. so that's why they're still here. Yep. As soon. Is it real S2? No, it's not. It's just decals. Oh, decal. Okay. Every time I come in here, I just get goosebumps. Blown away. The Oscar's car. Oh, nice. Finally. Yaska is um, Yaska is pretty much the one that I deal with outside of Masa uh, on the US side and he's like man I've been selling these cars for so long I actually want one for myself and he treated himself to a nice black one right there um, nice GTR, nice yeah. GTR real GTR here you go real yep it's real deal it's a KPGC 10 Skyline GTR. S20. Yep. Engine. Yep. It's very loud too. I bet. This guy's so go. incredible. So cool. Look at this thing. Amazing. So cool. Every time we come here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look at what you guys have out here. So this is the outside section of the warehouse. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with a lot of these cars out here? So these are the, some of the stock inventory cars. So some of the cars here are waiting for the car to get work done. Some of the cars here will be shipped. Some of the cars here are out. Some of the outside temporary storage will be there as well. Yeah, so basically it's kind of like a giant hoarder mix of a lot of different cars. This one is going to be, it's already sold. I think it's going to uh, Okinawa or Iwakuni. What kind of brakes? Yeah. Wait, what the? Wait, look at those, the seat. Yep. What a crazy, hold on, this is a GT T. T. Yeah, it has a GTR original wing. And, and <laughs> endless monoblocks for front and back because I think this owner wanted to track this car because it has a, like a very aggressive chassis bracing underneath. But no kidding. Yep. That is so cool. Oh. I've driven this car actually. This was used to be a demo car. I was going to say, if you guys didn't sell it already, I'll buy those brakes. Yeah, it's already sold. Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Stock S15. Yeah, this eventually. one is already, already sold too. It's going to, again, in Okinawa. One, one day I want to get one of these. You know what? One day I want to try to collect all the JDM Legends one by one. Yeah, what it's about gonna this It's going to take one? a while. Yeah, it would be nice to have an FD one day. But um, this is crazy. Look at this parking lot. Yeah. This is insane. Yep. Midnight Purple 2, R34, 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 FD, R33. This is ridiculous. Yep. This is, uh, this FD is one of my favorite too. It's very loud and aggressive, and it's a very aggressive looking one. This will be for sale coming soon. Huh. Yep. R32. Yep. Another S15 coming, to, coming for sale as well. And the RA and maybe a wide body kit. 
Oh, wow. You guys are just selling it like this? Yeah. Huh. It's just all sorts of different kind of buyers that buy these cars, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Potentially somebody that doesn't want to modify their car, but they want it to already be very well modified. Just ridiculous. Huh. It's, it's an endless sea of uh, uh, incredible cars. Do you get desensitized to this? Like, are you like, ah, oh, another R34? Yeah, I'm already desensitized. <laughs> you, yeah, because I own the R34, well, I drive R34 GTR, so it's like, for me, seeing R34 GTRs is kind of like, meh. But, Tint. but you know, the cool thing is, you not only get to see one, you get to see multiple of them yeah. at the same lot at the same time. For so me, it's, cool. it's so... It's still a novelty. I mean, I still love it. And that's obviously why I keep coming back to Japan a couple times a year. This last year, I came four times. And one of the times um, we did a shoot with Toyota, I couldn't come and, and hang out. Yeah. But, uh, you know, every time it, it's very special still. It's probably just like when you go to the U.S., mm -hmm. you know? Uh, I mean, I, I know you had a good time yeah. going to the U.S. this last time. Yep, to see or, a bunch of cool Mustangs yeah. and Camaros and <laughs> doing cool crazy too. horsepower. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I uh, can't wait to drive my car. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to shuttle everybody around Tokyo in that thing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. See you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys. I'll see you very soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.